Napilian bilang chairman kang Regional Development Council Visayas si Governor Odora Cajau. Just again patigayon ng Regional Development Council Visayas meeting kang Biyernes, Agosto 25, 2017 ng ginabugos kang tatlo ka mga rehiyon sa Visayas ng amo ang Region 6, 7 kag 8. Guys, there were three kung ano three names that came up as nominated si RD Chair kang Region 8 si Uh, Mr. Kobonpue, Kenneth Kobonpue, and then uh, there was a representative from Mayor Tingting Romualdez, Nerneda, uh, and uh, he signified his intention na uh, ready man kung si Mayor kung uh, tana makulian. Uh, it is a votation of the members of the RDCOM, and uh, when I attended, Uh, they wanted nga kami lang tatlo ma manominate among each other but uh, I was surprised we were not able to meet uh, all of a sudden um, si RDC kang uh, Kobonpue, RDC kang Region 8 with the information from higher ups uh, nag uh, nominate ka nakin as chair and uh, For me to nominate my co-chair, I immediately nominated uh, Kenneth Kobonpue, Region 8, as my co-chair. Ura aron itang nag -upos. it was uh, unanimously carried. And uh, before we started our meeting for that day, uh, ako nag-chair bilang RDC Com. Bisan pa man nga tingad saan ang posisyon, tanang masamiren magagwa sa antike, ginalantaw kang gobernador ang baga nga bentaha kag oportunidad kang anang bago nga posisyon, ilabi pa nga sa tulad, chairman kang Senate Committee on Finance, si Senator Loren Legarda, nga bugos ang pagsuporta sa probinsya. Patahan rin ang kada mag-historia gani, especially sa mga, the main thrust of the Duterte administration is connectivity, no? So, Kapag ma-istorya kami kung mga bridges, siyempre ganun sa lahat pero niyang anak antike. Uh, when it comes to sea lanes or sea ports, sa lahat kuman ng atin nga Portugia, every time that uh, we have a agenda, especially infrastructure projects, the governor is able to present the problems of the province because he is the chair, ang murang advantage. So ang pag-follow up ng mga projects, especially budgeting, is not anymore very hard. Considering also that We have another uh, lady senator in, uh, in the Senate who can use these proposed projects for Antica as insertions uh, national line budget. So the advantage is that eh, hindi na mag-agir ang, ang magsalimuot na agyan ang budget kang pinapangayo ko mga barangays kag mga mayors sa may babaw kundi na diretso ng tanahan sa may uh, RDC and RDC will formulate, RDC will, uh, RDC will forward this to the national agencies And once the Office of uh, the Appropriations or the Senate Finance na budgetan ni Senator Ligarda. So, daw nag, uh, kumbaga, daw nag, uh, nag imaw bala uh, daw nag, it was, uh, it was an arrangement made in heaven nga ang RDC Chair is the Governor of Antique and the Chairman of Finance is uh, the Anantikenyo also. Angat kadyagin pakigbay ni Governor Kadyaw ang mga daragkal nga proyekto nga natala na rin ipatuman agad tabi din ang tatlo ka rehiyon sa Visayas. Uh, because uh, Visayas is a, a it has a peculiar uh, terrain, eh, puro island by, but uh, the President, because of his ambition 2020, gusto na nga the interconnectivity of, uh, of uh, provinces and cities. So, I was informed that uh, the Iloilo to Gimaras is now undergoing construction. If not, it is already bidded out. No? And then, sulod nga yung Gimunanda ang Gimaras to Negros Occidental, passing by the small islands nga uh, along the way, uh, Palupandan. And then, they are going to build a bridge from Negros Occidental going all the way to uh, Bohol, or Cebu, Cebu. And then to Cebu, another bridge to link Cebu with Bohol. And of course, we do not need a bridge from Bohol to to ano to to Samar, no? And that Samar to Leyte, there is already San Manico Bridge. So those are billions of projects that will be implemented under the Duterte administration. That is what they call the interconnectivity of the provinces. Ura tanari asa luson kasi mindanao mo. That's why they took a special budget for the Visayas region 
because of ang status ng ating mga isla. Gindugang pa kang gobernador nga may sangka kumpanya rin nga nagpabutsa kang kanaan nga magabiyahe halin antike paagto kang Mindoro gamit ang Lipata Port sa Kulasi. Oh, well, I'm very happy to announce that the uh, PASCAT has already signified the intention to service uh, Lipata Port uh, from now. Uh, it is soon, if you want to go to Semerara, you can take the fast cut already to Semerara, to Katiklan, to Mindoro, and Bulalaco Island. No? So that is the first uh, Roro that will enter uh, Pulasi Port. Sa naman ang bilang Regional Development Chairman, magluwas sa pagbisita sa nagkalainlain nga kaprobinsyahanan sa Visayas, may mga best man nga magatambong sa cabinet meeting kang Pangulo, ang Gobernador, kay Imao, ang Darwapagid, kang mga RDCOM Chairman, kang Luzon, kag Mindanao. Samtang ginpili ni Governor Kajau si Region 7 RDC Co-Chairman Kenneth Gobonpue bilang Co-Chairman Kaja. Kaimaw si Erwin Nicarse para sa Balitalakayan Update, Joy Petson Vego.